China has every intention of becoming the new superpower in the world, replacing the United States. What if I told you that overnight, the balance of global power may have just shifted, not with an army, not with nukes, but with a single engine hidden inside a secret wind tunnel in Beijing? This machine has already done something scientists thought was impossible. It broke the limits of physics and ripped up every defense playbook on Earth. Because what rolled out of that tunnel isn't just fast, it's Mach 16 fast. That's over 12,000 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's so fast you could fly from Los Angeles to Tokyo in less than 30 minutes. So fast, an aircraft could circle the entire planet in under two hours. And so fast that even the most advanced missile defense systems, the ones protecting Washington, Moscow, or New Delhi right now, wouldn't even see it coming until it was already too late. But here's where it gets even more dangerous. This isn't some exotic, nuclear-fueled sci-fi experiment. This engine runs on regular jet fuel, the same type of fuel powering commercial airliners today. That means it's not only faster than anything humanity has ever built, it's also shockingly practical. And that raises the real questions, who controls this power? Will it be used for peaceful purposes, like passenger travel at impossible speeds, or will it become the ultimate weapon, a strike system no nation can defend against? Because if this technology falls into the wrong hands, or even if it's simply used as intended by China, we're no longer talking about safety through distance. No more warning time. No interception window. The sky itself becomes a battlefield. So buckle up, because what I'm about to show you isn't just a speed record. It could be the beginning of the most dangerous arms race in human history. Imagine waking up tomorrow and realizing the balance of global power has shifted overnight. A single engine, hidden inside a secret Chinese wind tunnel, just shattered the limits of physics, hitting speeds so fast they could make today's missile defenses useless. We're talking Mach 16. Over 12,000 miles per hour. That's so fast, an aircraft could circle the Earth in under two hours or deliver a strike anywhere on the planet before you even knew it was coming. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now. And the question is, who controls this technology, and what does it mean for the future of war, peace, and survival? Before we dive deep into how this breakthrough changes everything, Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the updates as this story unfolds. Because what you're about to hear could redefine the next 50 years of global power. The Breakthrough In July 2025, the world caught a glimpse of the future. Chinese engineers revealed a hypersonic propulsion breakthrough that left defense circles stunned. The engine they tested reached Mach 16, that's 12,400 miles per hour, inside the JF-12 wind tunnel in Beijing. And here's the real kicker, it runs on regular RP-3 jet fuel. No exotic chemicals. No science fiction reactor. Just ordinary aviation fuel pushed to do something extraordinary. For two full seconds, an eternity in hypersonic science. This engine sustained controlled detonation at speeds most experts said were impossible. And it didn't stop there. It used not one, but two different detonation systems. At Mach 7, it runs on rotary detonation, imagine a ring of explosions spinning like a tornado, pushing the craft forward more efficiently than any jet engine ever created. Then, as it blasts past Mach 7, it switches to oblique detonation, slamming fuel into a shockwave in front of the engine and igniting it instantly. The result? An energy conversion rate above 80%. Traditional jet engines barely touch 30. 
This isn't just evolution, it's revolution. Military implications. China insists this engine will one day power ultra-fast passenger planes. Imagine flying from New York to London in under 30 minutes. But let's be real, this is not just a civilian project. The military implications are enormous. At Mach 16, this engine could power hypersonic glide vehicles, warheads that can outrun every missile defense system on Earth. No Patriot missiles. No Russian S-500s. Not even India's most advanced interceptors can touch this. Hypersonic glide vehicles don't fly like normal missiles. They dive low under radar, maneuver mid-flight, and leave defenders blind. With Mach 16 propulsion, there is no early warning. No interception window. By the time it's detected, it's already hit. This rips up the entire playbook of strategic deterrence. For decades, nations believed they were safe behind anti-access zones, layers of defense meant to keep enemies out. But with Mach 16, distance is irrelevant. Nowhere is safe. Think about that. Safety through distance is gone. The sky itself has become a battlefield. Global arms race. And China isn't building this in isolation. Its growing alliance with Pakistan already includes fighter jets, submarines, and missile systems co-developed in secret. Pakistan even deployed Chinese J-10 fighter jets in real combat this year. Meanwhile, China exports advanced weapons to dozens of countries, from drones in the Middle East to ballistic missiles in Africa. The message is clear, China isn't just creating weapons for itself. It's reshaping the global arms market, pulling nations into its orbit with technology that rivals or even surpasses Russia and the United States. India is scrambling to catch up. The US is rushing hypersonic projects through DARPA. Russia boasts about its avant-garde system. But after this Mach 16 test, they may all already be behind. Here's the most dangerous part, hypersonic weapons blur the line between conventional and nuclear war. If a Mach 16 missile is launched, there's no time to figure out whether it's carrying a standard warhead or something far deadlier. Nations could be forced to retaliate instantly, and that means a single launch could trigger global escalation. We're entering a new era, one where missiles travel faster than decisions, where treaties are outdated, and where mistakes could cost everything. So let me ask you, would you feel safer knowing your nation had this weapon, or more terrified knowing your enemies might? This engine isn't just a machine. It's a signal. A signal that the next arms race has already begun, not in space, but in speed. And the nation that controls hypersonic propulsion may control the future itself. The question is, are we already too late to stop it? If you found this breakdown eye-opening, make sure you like this video so more people see it, and subscribe to stay updated as new hypersonic tests and military responses emerge. And drop your thoughts in the comments, is Mach 16 the dawn of a safer world, or the start of the most dangerous arms race in human history? Because one thing is certain, the sky is no longer a limit. It's the next battlefield.